Hi, this is Raymond Rose. Thanks for joining me today. For those of you that are regular listeners, you know that I haven't been around for the last week. I actually lost my voice due to an allergy, but I'm back. And today we're going to talk about eight money tips. I think you're going to get some excellent information. Let's get started. Very important. Number one, create a budget. You really need to track your income, track your expenses in order to gain a clear understanding of what your financial situation is and what you need to do so that you're making intelligent and informed decisions in the future. Number two, you need to learn how to consistently save your money. Set aside a portion of your income every single week, every single month for savings. Number one, you wanna build an emergency fund, and then number two, you wanna learn how to invest money to set up your financial goals, retirement planning, and more. Number three, minimize your debt. You've heard me talk about this in some of my previous podcasts, regarding impulse buying, which so many people have fallen trapped to. You want to avoid unnecessary debt, watch your spending, and work towards paying off any of the high interest rate credit cards you have as soon as possible so that you can uh, reduce any financial stresses that you have in your budget. Number four, as I mentioned, you'll need to learn how to invest your money. You want to invest for your future, Start investing early, even when you're a teenager. Invest regularly. You need to grow your wealth over time and take advantage of compounding returns. There's some wonderful books and videos online that you can get to learn how to invest. Actually, some local colleges offer non-credit college courses where you're literally learning step-by-step all the aspects of investing, understanding risk management, your insurance, estate planning, all those things. Number five, Live below your means. You need to practice fragility. You've listened to some of my podcasts where I talk about minimalizing your life, not spending money on depreciating assets. You need to be frugal. You need to reduce your spending. Know exactly how much money it costs you to live and making sure that you're taking some of that extra money, like I mentioned a moment ago, learning how to invest so that you have a very financially stable life. Very flexible, but very, very stable. Number six, diversify your income. You need to learn about additional sources of income. Maybe you're taking on a freelancing job, you're working from home, you're setting up a side hustle, different ways of producing additional income so that you can increase your earning potential and build financial resistance over the weeks, months, and years ahead. Number seven, I mentioned this, but let me be a little bit more specific. You need to plan for retirement. So many people put retirement planning on the back burner. They say it's too complicated. They say they don't have enough time in their lives to learn how it works. But you need to contribute to retirement accounts like your 401k or setting up an IRA every single year so that you can secure a comfortable retirement and take advantage of all the potential tax benefits that intelligent financial planning uh, gives you. And then number eight, Educate yourself. Educate, educate, educate. You need to be continuously learning about personal finance topics such as investing, uh, budgeting, uh, managing your credit, managing your risk, understanding how insurance works, um, estate planning, all those things. You have to put yourself in a position so that you're able to learn those areas and make informed financial decisions and really uh, become very, very stable, become very financially literate. You know, one of the things I've mentioned in many of my podcasts is regarding time management. I've heard so many people say that they don't have time to do all the things I mentioned, like creating a budget or learning how to invest. But you really do. Everybody's got 24 hours in a day, seven days a week. And you have to understand the importance of all the different things I just mentioned and put those things that that I just mentioned in your schedule. So let's recap them really quick. The eight things. Number one, create a budget. Number two, save your money consistently. Number three, minimize your debt. Number four, invest for the future. Number five, live below your means. Number six, diversify your income. Number seven, plan for retirement. And number eight, educate yourself. So that's it for today. I'm hoping you got some good information out of this. As a reminder, especially if you're a first-time listener, I make a podcast like this every single day based on four different areas of our lives. Number one, We all want to have excellent health. Number two, we want to have lots of free time. Number three, we all really want to be smart about money. And number four, we want good habits. 
Like I said, I make a podcast every day. It's just a few minutes long like this. It always has valuable information. I get to the point. I don't waste any of your time. So I'm hoping you enjoyed yourself today. If you've got any additional comments, please put them in the, in the section below. I'd appreciate it if you would hit the black subscribe button so that you can listen to my future podcast. And if you got any good information from this, I'd appreciate it if you would pass it along, share it with your family and friends. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. This is Raymond Rose. I'll talk to you tomorrow.